Many designers, when faced with these pages of code, are understandably very intimidated. And even sometimes the seasoned programmer. That is where visual scripting comes to help you out. It's a programming approach that uses a graphical interface, often comprised of nodes and connectors, sometimes resembling long streams of spaghetti, giving way to the term spaghetti scripting. They should be neat and organized like this, although quite often they can end up looking more like this. However, that's another story. We are moving past the pasta comparisons. For those designers who don't know how to code, or even those who do know, visual scripting can be quicker and a more effective way sometimes of creating custom outputs. They are also often used alongside traditional coding, as they provide a more intuitive and accessible way to design and implement complex functionality. Unreal Engine Although principally a games engine for, well, creating games, it is also very often used for creating apps and even more so for visualization. Unreal natively uses C++, which is not the easiest programming language to learn. So built in within Unreal Engine is the visual scripting interface, Blueprints, which is a very well developed alternative. As one of the main uses for Blueprints is scripting gameplay logic, it helps define the behavior of game objects, characters, and interactive elements. Developers can create game mechanics, AI behavior, player input responses, and more using this system. Also, as a great engine for world building, it is now an increasingly popular niche to use Blueprints in its application for digital twins and other visualization projects. Visual scripting can be used to enhance the realism, interactivity, and functionality of the virtual environment. For example, you can create interactive doors, windows, lights, and appliances within a digital twin of a building or space. You can use blueprints to simulate dynamic changes in the environment. For instance, you can demonstrate how natural lighting changes throughout the day or how different mechanical systems affect the indoor climate. Visual scripting can be used effectively in app development in Unreal, including augmented reality or virtual reality experiences. It helps to streamline the development process, enhance interactivity, and create engaging user interfaces. For architecture, it can be used to define how virtual objects interact with the real world, set up gestures or triggers for interactions, and create animations or transitions between scenes. Unity is another great games engine popular with mainstream games and indie game developers alike. The software is also known for being used to produce a variety of mobile and web apps. Unity natively uses C-sharp programming language, and they have their own built-in visual scripting, which was formerly called Vault. With its multi-platform support, Unity is quite popular for various custom apps. Particularly for architecture and 3D products, they can be easily incorporated into augmented reality experiences using visual scripting. They can also be employed alongside C-sharp scripting for developing these apps by designing interactive 3D scenes and leveraging its powerful editor to create these experiences across different platforms. It also simplifies the design of user interfaces for these apps. Designers can drag and drop UI elements, define behavior, and create interactive components, such as buttons and sliders. Designers and clients can customize the 3D visualizations to suit the specific needs and preferences. They can rearrange furniture, change materials, or experiment with different layouts. Visual scripting can help create complex simulations for the behavior of building systems. Users can then interact with these systems to understand their functionality and efficiency. Grasshopper is a visual programming language and graphical algorithm editor that is closely integrated with Rhino, a popular 3D modeling software used in architecture, design, and engineering. Parametric design is one of the primary uses. Grasshopper excels at parametric design where elements of a design are linked to variables or parameters. By adjusting these parameters, you can explore a wide range of design variations and study the impact on elements such as facades, layouts, and massing. It's often used for generative design processes, where the software generates design options based on predefined and constraints to go through thousands of options. This can lead to innovative and optimized design solutions. Grasshopper can also integrate data from various sources and use it to inform design decisions. For example, it can use environmental data, optimize building performance, 
or use user feedback to adjust design parameters. Engineers can use Grasshopper to run structural, thermal, or fluid dynamics simulations on the designs. For urban planning, it helps in creating and analyzing complex urban models, transportation networks, and landscape designs. Designers and engineers use Grasshopper to visualize data in 3D models. They can be very useful for conveying complex information in a more accessible format. A very useful addition also is that Grasshopper can now be used within Revit to do all these things previously mentioned, but on BIM geometry, which then leads into the next software. Revit, a building information modeling software, or BIM for short, developed by Autodesk. It has the visual scripting interface called Dynamo, allowing users to extend Revit's functionality. It can be used to create custom tools and workloads tailored to specific project requirements or design tasks. It is primarily used in the field of architecture, engineering, and construction, to create and manage 3D models and data for building projects. It allows users to create digital representations of buildings and infrastructure, including 3D models, plans, sections, and elevations, with an emphasis on data-rich components. Dynamo is a great way to explore parametric design for native BIM components. In documentation as well, Dynamo aids in data manipulation. It enables users to extract, manipulate, and transform data within Revit models. This is particularly useful for generating schedules, performing complex calculations, or formatting data for documentation. Houdini is a powerful and versatile 3D computer graphics software developed by SideFX. It is widely used in the entertainment industry, including film, television, video games, and visual effects, for a range of creative and technical purposes. It is known for its node-based procedural workflow which is actually the main way to interface with the software and its extensive capabilities. With the node-based procedural approach, artists can build complex scenes by connecting nodes that define actions, behaviors, and relationships between objects. Houdini is particularly known for its robust VFX capabilities. It is used to generate realistic and complex visual effects, including simulations of fire, smoke, water, explosions, and more. This excels in procedural modeling and animations. Artists can create dynamic and adapted content that can be easily modified and reused, which is especially useful for generating variations and handling large-scale scenes. Finally, a lesser-known software among designers is FME, which stands for Feature Manipulation Engine. It is a powerful data integration and transformation software developed by Safe Software. Although not a design tool in itself, it enables the conversion, transformation, and integration of data between various formats, systems, and applications, including popular design software, and hence worth mentioning. The primary interface is node-based, although you can combine it with Python scripting. FME is used to connect and integrate data from different sources, whether they are spatial, like GIS or GPS, and non-spatial, like databases and spreadsheets. For example, it is very useful for geolocating 3D models or 2D drawings and to be able to position them on maps and terrains. Other difficult to handle data types such as point clouds may be more easily manipulated using the visual transformers. These data workflows can all be automated through workbenches that define the steps and rules for data processing. Even though native programming languages can be cleaner and more efficient with custom functions in design software, visual scripting can be both a great entry-level interface to do this, as well as working together with other programming languages, and definitely worth including as part of your design technology toolkit.